Hi and welcome to the Pythagoras video series video 3. This time we're looking at finding a shorter side. When we find a shorter side we'll stick to the uh, program of putting the letter first and squaring it equal to the bigger of the two other numbers um, and squaring them with a minus in between this time. That's the big difference. We have a minus in between. Let's have a look at an example where we're, ex where we're expecting a whole number answer. So find the value of x in this triangle down here. Now we're not finding the hypotenuse this time, so we'll have to stick to a slightly different arrangement of uh, the same rule, the Pythagoras rule. It's just a, a rearrangement of the original rule. So we'll start off with x squared. That's the letter squared. Now the bigger of the two numbers is 20, so we'll square it. And we'll put a subtraction, a minus sign, and then put the smaller of the two numbers and square it as well. So let's process that. 20 squared is 400, 16 squared is 256 with the minus in between. We'll do that subtraction and we'll get down to x squared equals 144. Now to get x on its own, we want x, not just x squared. To get x on its own, we'll have to square root both sides there. So we have square root of 144. Now 144 square roots nicely to be 12. So that's a whole number answer. We took the letter and squared it. We had the bigger number and squared it, and we subtracted from that the smaller number squared. So when we're finding a shorter side, it's important to remember that it's, there's a subtraction in there. So we also have questions, uh, like when we found the hypotenuse, that we're expecting a rounded decimal answer for it. So let's have a look at this, an example of that. Find the value of y, correct two decimal places this time. So we'll start off with the letter squared, so y squared equals the bigger number squared, 5.26 squared in this case, with the minus and the smaller number squared. So we'll run that through our calculator and we get y squared equals 5.3892. We'll square root that to get y on its own and uh, that'll give us a decimal answer which we can round off to two decimal places. So the same arrangement again, which is just that this time we're expecting a decimal answer that we can round at the end of it. Now just in, like in the previous video when we were finding the hypotenuse, sometimes they ask us to leave our answer in third form, or the way they uh, say that in the question is they'll f we're asked to find the exact value of the shorter side. So once again, it doesn't change our arrangement, it just really changes um, how we leave our answer. So we'll have the letter squared, this time it'll be d squared, equal to the bigger number squared, in this case 15 squared, minus the smaller number squared, in this case 8 squared. We'll process that. d squared, now 15 squared equals 225 minus 8 squared, which is 64. We'll do that subtraction and we'll get d squared equals 161. Now, to get d on its own, we'll square root, but we'll leave our answer there. Square root of 161 is an exact value, and we want you know, the question wants us to leave that there rather than processing it further. So that's how we find a shorter side. We take the letter squared equals the bigger number squared minus the smaller number squared. Thanks for listening. See you next time.